How's it going out there, ladies and gentlemen? Night Edric here, and this is the news of the week. Um, Anthem is out, and it's uh, pretty much the last call for Bioware. If uh, if Anthem doesn't do well, um, they're going to have severe problems making the new Dragon Age game, that is, if it's even coming out. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, a lot of people are playing um, Apex Legends right now, so... You know, I'm not saying go check out Anthem. I'm just saying that uh, wait for the reviews, and if you like that kind of thing, check it out. Because uh, I, for one, like Dragon Age, and uh, I'm a big RPG fan, and I'm really, really hoping that that game actually makes it to the light of day. So, with all the fails and uh, <laughs> and the closing of publishers and and this, that, and the other, I really hope Bioware doesn't get dissolved. To tell you the truth, uh, Americans spent forty-three billion dollars on video games last year, with a B, billions, billion dollars, forty-three. That's a lot of fucking money to be playing on video games, and uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know how much the car industry made, but I'm pretty damn sure that's more than Netflix and HBO and everybody else combined, you know. Uh, a lot, a lot of money, a lot of money. Um, Netflix actually says Fortnite is a bigger competitor than HBO. <laughs> Can you believe that, right? Like, uh, Fortnite is bigger than HBO. Well, we'll see about that shit when Game of Thrones comes back around, right? Uh, and speaking of Apex Legends, they, they pulled down 25 million players in their first week alone. So, yeah, Fortnite is pretty much not very many people hopping on that bus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they traded one bus for the, the, they traded a bus for a bandwagon. There you go. That, that's, the, that's what I was looking for. Uh... So if if you if you um I'm I'm sure that if you get on Fortnite there'll be enough people to play with. It's not like those servers are going to go dead or anything. But Fortnite felt that shit. Don't think they didn't. Um everybody, all the major streamers out there that I've seen so far have pretty much jumped ship to uh, Apex Legends. So personally I haven't played the game myself yet. Uh I probably will this weekend some at some point, but um like I said, I don't like multiplayer games that much, and uh, it's one of those. Anytime a game gets massively, overpoweringly huge, I don't. I try to avoid it, like Fortnite. I, I, you know, I mean, Fortnite looks like a great game, and uh, a lot of people absolutely adore that game. But it's just, it's not for me, man. You know, and I know at this age in my life and this time of my life, I know what's for me and what's not for me. So I kind of tend to avoid games that I think, personally, that I wouldn't have fun playing. And uh, Battle Royale is not one of those things. Like, I've, I've spoke before in my videos about how I don't really like multiplayer games, and Battle Royale is like the fucking epitome of multiplayer games. So, not really, not really a fan. Um, but, if I mean, man, if you like that kind of thing, more power to you. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you're having fun. Play what you want. Fuck everybody else. Um, anyway, moving right along. Fortnite Legends. Uh, shit. I fucked that up. Fortnite Lawsuits. Uh, I, mean, I was wanting to speak a little bit about this. Uh, all these people that are suing Fortnite over dances need to shut the fuck up seriously um it's it's amazing how nobody bitched in Saints Row 3 when they when they ripped off the three amigos and on and, and all that shit to to make the emotes for for Saints Row 3 2 and 3 anyway and now since Fortnite has become the greatest goddamn thing since sliced bread you know up until Apex Legends apparently 
everybody wants to jump on there and try to sue them. Even rappers are trying to sue them over dance moves and shit. And and the Carlton thing got shut down this week, by the way. Carlton lost his lawsuit against Fortnite. So <clears throat> anybody that uh that has a problem with the Fortnite dances and whatnot need to um need to just shut shut the fuck up, basically. Because they're not gonna win. I mean this this place has here we go. Every fucking video I try to record. Kitty, be quiet. Hush. Good lord. I love you, but Jesus Christ. Um every single um every single time, every day, every day I see somebody bitching about, oh, they stole my dance move. You know, like the the backpack kid is uh one of them in like I'm sorry to tell you this, you 12-year-old, but you didn't invent dance, okay? You didn't. And uh, I'm pretty sure out of the billions and billions of people on this planet, you're not the first person to come up with that shit to begin with, so shut the fuck up. That may sound harsh to some of you, but and it may sound like I'm siding with a developer over the public, but that's just the way it is, man. It's one of those fence-sitting things, you know? where it could go either way and I'm I'm siding with the developer on this one I'm going to say you know Fortnite's in the right for saying just shut the fuck up basically you know I mean they're making a, a colorful game based around mostly based around a kid type audience and it's supposed to be goopy and, and just off the wall and shit so they have a ton of different dances and emotes and stuff like that and it's, you know, it's not like they're stealing shit. They're just coming up with as much different, as many different kinds of content for it as they can. And I can understand that. And they're doing a good job, from what I hear. I mean, I don't play Fortnite, so. Sorry, Fortnite. Uh, same rules apply to Apex Legends. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, but now, you know, fuck it, you can play as Marshmallow now. So, yay, right? I guess. I don't know. Take that, Apex Legends. We can play as Marshmallow. Um, again, moving right along. Red Dead Redemption 2 sells 23 million copies. 23 million copies. And I'm sure since uh, since this this uh, statistic came out, they've sold even more. Um, that's a lot of fucking copies of a game in, what, four months? Uh, let's see. November, December, January. Yeah, four months. Four months. A little, little over four months. They've sold 23 million copies. Which, uh, which has netted them $1.25 billion. And that is way better than where they were sitting at last year at this time. Last year at this time, they were at right at about $500 million. So that's a massive increase in income. And what they do with that money, I really want to know what they're going to do with all that money. Um, <clears throat> I really hope they'll, you know, get off this fucking bandwagon of, uh, oh, buy these gold bars. You know, that, that, that brings everything down. I hate microtransactions. Microtrans microtransactions bring everything, everything down. Um, I think you should be able to earn the shit playing the single player game and then you know take that into multiplayer that would be perfect right whatever I was just my thought and um whatever uh Baldur's Gate uh I don't know if you guys remember Baldur's Gate games um the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons games they're coming to console all six of them and when I first heard this, I thought, holy shit, that's going to be so awesome. You know, I was thinking Baldur's Gate Alliance. Um, and I was like, oh my god, that's going to be so awesome. I remember those games. I love those games. Yeah, it's not It's not Baldur's Gate Alliance. It's, uh, it's the point-and-click Baldur's Gate games. Mmm, coffee. Um, so, it's, uh... A lot of people probably don't know what I'm talking about. If you play Pillars of Eternity, <clears throat> the Obsidian thing, I do believe Obsidian made that. Anyway, uh, if you if you played that, then that's pretty much what Baldur's Gate's going to be like. Only 
way watered down from Pillars of Eternity because it was made in 1998 and it's old and even though it's going to be remade I doubt they're going to add much to it so there's six different games there's Baldur's Gate 1, 2 there's some Ice Dale thing and then there's three more I'm personally I don't know the names of them but um, I just know that they're on the way and uh, I wanted to take this last little bit to say something that uh, it's probably going to be controversial. Um, when you're a famous movie actor, okay, and you pretty much have a band, and you try to be a movie actor and a band leader and this, that, and the other, and, you know, and when all your movies have failed and your band doesn't do very well, <clears throat> stop trying to diversify your portfolio. Just stick with what you know. Because, um, personally, I don't find Jack Black funny. I don't. Uh, I found Mr. Show funny. If, if you guys know what the fuck Mr. Show is, it was on HBO. I thought that was a funny show. Because of Bob, Oden, Bob Odenkirk and David Cross. Jack Black was on that show. Um, I do believe he started his career in a fucking rollerblading movie. So, which was way back in the day, like 1994, 95. I don't find him funny. And I find every movie that he's in, he kind of ruins the movie for me. I haven't seen the new House with the Clock on the Walls, or whatever the fuck movie. But I know that he screwed up Jumanji. I know that he, I mean, this is, this is like one of those fence-sitting things. You either like Jack Black or you don't. And... Personally, I don't. And now he's trying to be a gamer. And I'm not saying that he's not a gamer. I mean, I don't know what he does in his spare time. But when you come out on YouTube and you get like 20 million subscribers before you even put up a fucking video, that's insulting. I mean, a lot of us out here... You know, I know I'm new to the scene, but I'm very passionate about this, and I'm going to turn this channel into something great. But when you come out and you have 20 million fucking people before you even put up a video, that's insulting to small content creators who are actually who actually are gamers, who actually live this shit day to day. You know, we're not out making movies. We're not out trying to run a band. We're playing fucking video games, and we're filming it, and we're putting it up online. So... Just wanted to say that uh, in closing. Fuck Jack Black. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, all that good shit. And I'll see you in the next one.